discover how emotional intelligence can revolutionize your business. In today's world, a simple transaction is no longer enough. Customers are seeking relationships, personalized experiences, and a sense of understanding. And that's where emotional intelligence, or EI, comes into play. You may wonder, what is emotional intelligence? And how does it impact our professional interactions, especially those with our valued customers? Emotional intelligence is the capacity to be aware of, control, and express our emotions, and to handle interpersonal relationships judiciously and empathetically. It's what enables us to recognize our customers' emotions and respond to them effectively. In this brief course, we're going to demystify emotional intelligence and explore how you can harness it to create satisfying, long-lasting relationships with your customers. We'll dive into the key components of emotional intelligence, learn how to apply them in your daily interactions with customers, and understand how tools like Customer Relationship Management, or CRM, can aid you in your quest to provide an emotionally intelligent customer service. So, whether you're a manager, entrepreneur, sales or marketing pro, or a small business owner, this course is designed to give you the actionable insights and practical tools needed to elevate your customer relationships. Ready to unlock the power of emotional intelligence in customer service? Let's get started. Understanding Emotional Intelligence What is emotional intelligence? It's our ability to identify and manage our own emotions, as well as the emotions of others. Emotional intelligence, or EI, as popularized by American psychologist Daniel Goleman, has five critical components. Firstly, self-awareness. It's the capacity to perceive our own emotions and understand how they influence us and others around us. When you can identify your emotions as they occur, you can manage your reactions, especially in situations that involve your customers. Secondly, self-regulation. This is our ability to control or divert our emotional responses, particularly negative ones. It's about expressing our emotions appropriately and not letting them get the better of us, which is crucial in a customer service setting. Next, we have motivation. This isn't about external factors like money or recognition, it's an intrinsic drive to achieve for the sake of achievement. This component fuels our dedication to providing the best possible customer service. Fourth, we have empathy. It's the ability to understand and share another person's feelings. In a customer relationship, empathy allows us to connect with our customers on a deeper, more personal level. Finally, there are social skills. This refers to our ability to manage relationships and build networks. It's what enables us to build rapport with customers, manage teams effectively, and navigate social networks. Understanding these five components of emotional intelligence is the first step toward better customer relationships. And here's why it's crucial. Emotional intelligence and customer service are inseparable. In an era where customers increasingly expect personalized, engaging experiences, not just product pricing and innovation, AI has never been more critical. By mastering EI, you can boost customer loyalty, enhance word of mouth about your brand, and even increase sales. How do we know this? Because research supports it. For example, a study by Rutgers University revealed that salespeople at L'Oreal who were hired based on their emotional intelligence sold over $91,370 more in business items. So, it's clear, emotional intelligence isn't just a soft skill, it's a powerful tool that directly impacts your bottom line. Applying emotional intelligence in customer interactions. Now that we understand what emotional intelligence is, let's dive into how we can apply it in our interactions with customers. In sales and customer service, the process of buying or solving a problem isn't just a transaction, it's often an emotional journey for our customers. Understanding and responding to these emotions is where emotional intelligence becomes our greatest asset. Here are some practical tips on how you can apply emotional intelligence in your daily interactions. First, listen more than you speak. Giving your customers the opportunity to express themselves fully allows you to understand their needs and emotions better. It's all about active listening. Second, respond, don't react. It's crucial to manage our emotions, especially when faced with challenging situations or customers. Instead of reacting impulsively, take a moment to process the situation, and then respond in a measured and controlled manner. Third, put yourself in their shoes. This is about empathy, understanding your customers' feelings, and seeing the situation from their perspective. This understanding enables you to respond more effectively and in a way that the customer feels heard and understood. Next, apologize for any mistakes. Acknowledging an error can go a long way in showing your customer that you're human and that you care about getting things right for them. And finally, empathize. Show your customers that you genuinely understand and care about their feelings. This doesn't just mean saying the words, it means demonstrating understanding through your actions and responses. By practicing these tips, you can leverage your emotional intelligence to enhance your customer interactions, leading to more satisfying outcomes for both you and your customers. But remember, emotional intelligence isn't just about what you do during the interaction, it's also about how you can leverage tools and technology to support emotionally intelligent customer service. Leveraging emotional intelligence with customer relationship tools. 
While emotional intelligence is inherently a human skill, we can also leverage technology to enhance and support our emotionally intelligent customer interactions. And one of the most powerful tools at our disposal is the Customer Relationship Management Tool, or CRM. A CRM isn't just a database of customer information. It's a tool that can help us harness our emotional intelligence to better meet our customers' needs. Here's how. Firstly, better targeting with segmentation. By segmenting customers in your CRM based on their emotional responses or preferences, you can better personalize your communications and interactions with them. Secondly, enhancing ROI. By collecting and analyzing customer touchpoints in your CRM, you can understand your customers' emotional motivators. This allows you to invest your resources in the areas your customers value the most, thus improving your return on investment. Next, quantifying emotional reasons for purchase. With the data in your CRM, you can understand and quantify the emotional reasons behind your customers' purchases. This allows you to tailor your marketing and sales efforts to address these emotional triggers effectively. Lastly, turning emotional connections into KPIs. By correlating the emotional connections your customers have with your brand and their purchasing behaviors, you can turn this emotional data into actionable insights. Remember, a customer relationship tool is only as effective as how you use it. By applying emotional intelligence and using these tools, you can better understand, connect with, and meet your customers' needs. Conclusion As we wrap up our final module, remember that the journey to mastering emotional intelligence doesn't end here. It is a lifelong process of continuous learning and improvement. Now that we've navigated through the intricacies of emotional intelligence and its impact on customer relationships, it's time to put that knowledge to the test. After this video, you'll find a short quiz designed to reinforce what you've learned. But that's not all. We've curated a rich selection of resources to aid in your ongoing journey. There are articles to deepen your understanding, interactive exercises to practice emotional intelligence skills, and tools to help implement these practices in your daily customer interactions. All of these resources are readily accessible for you to revisit at any time, right here on our course platform. And, as a token of completion and achievement, you will receive a certificate once you've successfully completed the course and passed the quiz. We sincerely hope this course has been insightful, practical, and actionable. Remember, fostering emotional intelligence in your organization starts with you. With your newfound knowledge and resources, you're well equipped to make a meaningful impact. Thank you for your time and active participation in this course. We wish you the best on your ongoing journey of mastering emotional intelligence for Ant's customer relationships.